All right, me come back. I think when you get a call, this tends to happen no matter where you do. I don't know. I don't know. It just always happens. I don't know what to do about it. Anyway, as I say, it's a, it's a, this is a selfie life being done on my power bank. <laughs> so I'm so happy God again. No more interruption. All right, you know, come back, come back, lava, come back, London Vice, come back. Yeah, me get a call, and it. Me don't know why them not create technology where prevent that from happening. When you get a call, you can end the call and continue with the live, or you make the call ring out and you continue with the live. One out of two. And which one me fi do? Cause sometimes me any, and sometimes me just make it ring out and me still a lose me life. It's still a it's sound, I still a go away. Um, yeah. So as me say, me day fi make some comments where i go vex some people but it not really matter there's this debate about the grammys and how a jamaican didn't win a reggae grammy here are some facts for the people who are out there bickering and complaining and talking a lot of stuff which they have no details on speaking from a point of emotion and not understanding what music truly is and that no one owns music all right so the first thing that i want to share which i've learned because when I'm curious about something, I like to learn about it um, before I talk about it, right? And sometimes you don't go too deep in some things, but sometimes you have an interest. So you go a little deeper. Alright, so the first thing when we find out now, Reggae Graham is invented in 1985. Black Uhuru win it, seen? So the first Grammy went to a Jamaican. After that, Jamaicans won Grammys consecutively up to 2021. And I can't believe that. Jamaican can win Grammy from 1985 to 2021 and people are cuss. Because one band, which is not Jamaican, it is a reggae band, then practice reggae for the last 20 years. And now they win a Grammy. They farm in the 90s and they inspired by Jamaica. It's a love thing. They love it. They work with a lot of young artists. People like Cecile come out. Um jesse royal i think um gramps um chronics uh etana all these people talked about their interaction with the band that won the grammys so already you have um like people coming out and saying okay they're not jamaicans but they've been doing the work and they love the culture so isn't the culture we want to spread and we have spread to the point where we're internationally accepted. So we can't have it both ways. We can't say them a thief we think when are we are carried to them and I spread it because that's how culture is. Everybody would have love if their culture big like Jamaican culture. But I know everybody culture big like Jamaican culture. I know everybody big like Jamaican culture. So the people them see Bob Marley and then see Shabba Ranks and then see Supercat and then see Spraga Benz and then see Lucian and then see Sizzler then see all of these artists where they in love and we are going to say, oh I imitate them, imitate. Yes, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. So I love them, love we, why them imitate we? Alright, people I see somebody say, K.A. Bennett said they're doing on merit. What is the merit for the Grammy though? What's the merit for the Grammy? Let's examine that. For the Grammys, there's a voting panel or a board from what I understand. On that board, you should have some industry professionals who can vote on the different genres. So reggae would need professionals who are in the reggae genre. We don't have much representation there because obviously that's a US thing. And so far, Jamaicans have no one to blame but themselves for not being on the Grammy board to influence voting and to share with the foreigners how it is that we view the music and what is merit from what is not merit so how do we decide what is the merit that they should win on like i said there's a voting panel so they vote the, does the voting panel know what is real is the voting panel in touch with reality in jamaica or what reggae should sound like probably not because they're foreigners so if we don't access representation on the board how are we going to influence winning grammys we have done so with the quality reggae which they have awarded us for like i said from 1985 to 2021 jamaicans have won grammy so on a stop frank us the music stop frank us the people them on a native order by the artist them album 
Me usually just buy my artist them favorite uh, like my favorite artist them album. Buy your favorite artist album. You can buy every album. Support the artist them. The artist them to support on yourself. Soldier signed to an independent company, right? And that independent company is owned by another band, which is not a reggae band. That's the Dave Matthews band. Dave Matthews is a huge American star, celebrity, musician. And him investing money in our reggae band. Which they've been touring, they've been doing their thing, they've been all over the place. And you might think, okay, you're saying Gramps Morgan album was a way better album. I might think so too. I love Gramps album. I'm playing it in my show from before the Grammys. But Gramps album didn't get the support, so to speak, this time. Same thing for the other albums. Because also we have to remember that sales of albums play a part. I'm actually doing the research now to find out how many albums Soja sold with this Grammy album. And then all the nominees, how much their albums sold as well. They didn't sell a lot. We didn't hear about it. We didn't. If, if they were selling, we would hear about it. We didn't hear. So sorry, but not sorry. Like, we are win for so long and then one time we know we know we are behave so bad. What do the people them, man? We no stop cause the people them. Some of the nominees, they are not even congratulate the winner. That is a sore loser that don't do that. If you enter Miss World, and you know win, and you know come Miss First Runner Up or whatsoever. That means you are not going to congratulate the Queen. I see thing with some of the artists who nominated. Uno know on yourself who never congratulate the people. I don't care a damn who uno is. Big up the one them who congratulate the winner because you cannot be a sore loser. Because some of them make it fans them gas on up. I make them feel like uno de pant up and feel like uno do this and that. If uno album na sell uno no de pant up uno could not. Yo, no make me get down in it. Come on, get down in it, you know, but me, me, you know what? <laughs> me have levels I get down in it. <laughs> You're not ready for certain levels yet. Then if you stop the foolishness, the album sales is not the only thing to get you into the Grammys. It doesn't stand on its own, right? But it influences it. So, Soja has been selling their, their album, has been selling. Can I get the album sales for all the other albums? Let's examine them. How much did Gram's album sell? How much did Etana's album sell? How much did Shaggy's album sell? How much did Spice's album sell? And how much did Sean Paul album sell? Can we get that information? And then we get how much Soja album sell? Somebody has said it's who you know. That's why we need to get our people in the board. So that who we know can be voting to say, yes, these albums are good. Somebody said they should not have been nominated over authentic reggae album. Who are you to decide what is authentic reggae album? So it's only Jamaicans can play authentic reggae. That is crap. Bob Marley was touring with foreigners. Dennis Brown and them man they play with foreigners. Peter Tosh play with foreigners. Wanna stop the ignorance. Somebody said their album picked at number two on the reggae chart. Can we get some facts around here and people stop being so damn emotional? Talking all this crap all on the artists we are right up on the internet and not talk and sit about the people them. Love the people them man. Congratulate the people them. I first foreigner ever win Grammy. I'm going to go and go check it for yourself. 1985 to 2021, we win Grammy. Every, every time is a Jamaican. The only, I would say, foreign influenced winner would have been um, in a circle. Right? And then in 2019, we had Shaggy with Sting. Sting is a white man. Sting, a big old celebrity rock star. And him featured on Shaggy album and it win. Oh, no, never cost that time. Why don't you never quarrel? What, what make you stay so? You can't say the people them should not have been nominated, K.A. Bennett. Because the people them put out their reggae album with the intention for it to do well, just like everybody else. Just like everybody else. So, so I just who they know, they win, not, not go so. Not a thing go so. So I see thing I say about the Marlies and them when they need win their Grammy because the same way. Stephen Marley win more than one Grammy. Damien Marley win mostly two times. Ziggy win a couple times. The people them a do their thing, you know, say, all right, I who they know, make them a win. All of them, you know, I who they know. All right, find them a brother and sister, so maybe a true. 
Then after that, if people them stop win, Una has quarrel now, one foreign win. Them a Jamaican, you know, Marlis, them a Jamaican too, in case Una did forget, you know. And then album, they did a sell, you know, so Una had devalued the people, them merit and I say, ah, oh, they know. Make them did a win. Come on. They win like two, two times, and it's something not going for 1985. They had influence on the board, probably, but we should, because that's how the process works. There's a border, there's a panel, there's voting. And if you don't have influence over that, then the, the right um, translation of the genre will not take place. The foreigners will translate it how they want. And we can't say that they're racist or whatever because they had never given Grammys to anybody white or any um, non-Jamaican before. It's all Jamaicans that have won Grammys. Can we calm the noise? Can we calm the noise and stop with the distraction with this Grammys thing? Soja win. Congrats to them. The argument done. All the nominees should have congratulated them with class and taste and style. But you look like some of them vex. Don't vex. Just do a next nice album again. It's just like some artists. Them give them song. Them send email. Them send a bag of email. Some of them are calling your phone for the whole day. Them want you listen to their music. You see when you finally listen to their music. Yeah, say to yourself, say, Jan, no, this is why I'm not listening all along. Or you will hear it out there, you know. You will hear it out there. And you know, say that song, you're not enough fit your program, you can't play it. But them vex when they not hear you play it. Them ask you all kind of weird questions, then text you 100 times for deal when you sleep, them a call. The artists, them may chat, I saw them behave. Them very ego egotistical. And then vex them no want you hear them no want hear you tell them when them song no sound good or them album no sound good or you just can't play the song because you no suit your format or maybe you just not like it. Maybe you not like the beat, maybe you not like what them are say. So wow, oh, just play a next song or sing a next song and give me me we try that one day. Somebody say you'll be forty nominated but never won. Yes, that is true. But many other foreign bands have been nominated. And Soja had been nominated twice before. Somebody said, oh, much people on this live ever buy an album. London Voice said that this said, the Marleys have reggae in their DNA, Junior Gang and Steven are musical geniuses. Yes, but you same one talking about Soja should not be nominated. And people were cussing the Marleys for winning and they are so talented and deserve to win. So, so make up your mind. Soja not to win a reggae Grammy. Can you imagine if Beris was nominated and Soja won? Who knows what kind of album would have gone up against them? So if, if Beris do a mediocre album, me can't tell him say mediocre. Who is this? Who is this? What is that? Now come tell me that. If Beris Aman do a mediocre album, the fans will respond. He will know that. Well, I saw them feel about it. If him do a hit album, it got it. Music is so diverse. Music is so unpredictable. You don't know what a song going to do. You don't know what an album going to do. It can be so mystical. Music spread all over the world is for everyone. So you can't say the people them never feel win. Stop the foolishness. You know, stop. Chastise the people them. You know, I'll say a true they white. How you not know, say that when no white people never win before? A 2019 Sting win with Shaggy. Who is a Jamaican? One other say because Shaggy Brown. Eh? Berries, berries and mediocre cannot be used in the same sentence. I just use that as an example, but it doesn't matter if it's Berries or, or who or Bujo or whoever. I could have Michael Jackson. If an artist do an album and you know do what they did expect, just move on, do another album. Enough good album we see, never win no Grammy. Enough get nominated and never win because there can only be one winner. So, no stop one, so I diss up the people, them people, them up on the internet, or some artists, them don't have nothing about you know. Some are no artists where chat chat and you know, just relax on yourself and understand that music is a thing where flow out, flow no very music. And some are no where you know, you know, bond this and no bond that. The same people, them don't have bond love, you know. love, no music, bye. Jump to it in a dance, buy a ticket for come to your concert. So it's a foolish thing them are going with. With this whole saying only Jamaican for win Grammy. 
Cypher so only Jamaican for win Grammy only Jamaican for buy album only Jamaican for come my people them sh the artists them show them not true one I got foreign I big festival them five for only Jamaican for win Grammy the biggest reggae festival them in the world owned by foreigner and no mind sharp I be a white people one them I don't need to come to no senses music transcends color mind opinions um and even reality because I miss enough good album we're meeting should I win before no win what you mean it matters because it's Beris and Beris is super talented I'm like one of the biggest fans of Beris Haman play the most Beris on the radio I go why you allow me I must use another name if I want to use the name mediocre you don't tell me what to do on my own page all right you don't tell me what to say and what to do I'm my life and I'm my opinion. This time I ask you, okay, hey, Benny, whoever you are, if you know what me black you, yeah? and done the conversation with you, just be respectful and allow me make me say what I want to say. Go say what you want to say on for your page. Anybody can do a mediocre album. Anybody no come tell me about because Beris Aman, I am a this, that, and the other. Who play Beris like me on radio up till now? How much years me I play Beris fine on my show every Sunday. Beris know how me love him. So no bother with that. The people them I move emotional. Oh no, and some of them are hypocrite, them not talk the truth. Some of them don't even know that them are comment. And them not know say from 1985 to 2021. Jamaicans have been winning Grammys. No other nationality has won. Sting accompanied Shaggy in 2019 and they won together. So, I mean, what we are quarrel about, like, leave racism for where racism belongs. We can't own the music no longer because we find out long time said so the name Reggae, R E G G A E, which is the name of this music, Jamaican genre music, is owned by a foreigner. Not even the government has tried to take back ownership of the name Reggae from this man right the man registered the man owns the patent for the word the name reggae a foreigner so if a foreigner owns the name reggae why are we so upset about one foreign band winning a reggae grammy it's not like they've been winning 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 and we've been mistreated and all of that our government doesn't stand with us we don't have like any collective real you know unit or organized way of doing things where the industry is concerned so how do we expect to have a strong footing and to prevent things like this we're saying it should never happen yes i agree in some ways i agree that a jamaican should win a grammy because we are the experts we practice it and whatever yes other foreigners have been nominated before not wrong if they're nominated because they do the reggae too so it just now depends on how we structure the thing as i say get on the voting body um get influence within the academy put out albums that we can only hope will sell because we put out a good album and you know sell same way this enough album get overlooked you know you just never know which way music is gonna go so if it go soldier way now nobody should not deal with the people them so course hey them calling them cost the people them them call the people them racist them said the people them sell out grammy sell out them said the white people them will win teeth with, with music now as the people them win the grammy people then go up and say big up to all the people on the island of jamaica who have inspired us these people is love them love the music they've been doing it since the 90s we are in 2022 what is the what is the fuss what all of this for so much ignorance so I wonder to myself now, like all the artists, the many people them where chatty foolishness, how they feel after. When they start find out everything about the band, they still like say, oh, the album not up to par. I know you are decide whether it's up to par, just like how you would do a great album and think it's awesome. And the fans never think it's up to par. So it never sell. Who no not have the sales them? Where sales them? They no can't show me them. Where are the sales for the other five albums which have been nominated? leading up to the grammys if they weren't leading with sales then you know that affects the whole thing too so who knows they might be selling down the road because we know of album will come out now and not sell a lot till long after so we are hoping that happen for all of the jamaican nominees then but this fuss about the win 
is much ado about nothing. Them need to stop. We don't want them drag it out like the Will and Jay that stopped me too much. We have how much other things that deal with Jamaica right now. Wallipa accident. We see people that go to court and get off of some terrible case. Crime there. Hungry there. Rape there. Corona still there. Diabetes there. Sickness there. We not no priorities. Everybody caught up with this and chat so much foolishness. Even chronics come out to and talk and say, I mean, the man them do reggae and share them platform with enough young reggae artists. We had testimonials from chronics, Cecile, Jesse Royal, Etana, a um, couple other people. And all who talk bad about soldier don't know them. Don't know them. And I talk bad about the people them. You might not like the album, that no means say people them not feel winner, that no means say it never sell or them not have representation on the Grammy board. And all along we were winning, which means that the board obviously had been, you know, learning about the genre because as I say, a lot of foreigners would be on that board and so they wouldn't be as familiar with the sounds, the reggae sounds like Jamaicans. The board includes music producers, and songwriters and you know other people who are are versed in the genre so if we don't have a lot of jamaicans on there they don't have a good understanding of what a strong reggae album is like a we know said grams album shot and we know said jesse royal royal it up like seven or eleven anyone <laughs> you see me so if we can get in upon that then we prevent ever since we're so upset about it, we will prevent any other foreigner from being able to produce works of reggae which surpass us in the different ways. How can, can we do that? Can we ensure, can the artists ensure that they get the producers and the industry people who qualify to be on the board? Well, let's get our people in i guess they have a limit but right now they have mostly foreigners so if we can influence getting more jamaicans on there who understand the beats understand you know what's happening with the music and all of that then we would have to say we sell out or whatever and this last thing i want to say before i go for all the people saying that we sell out I don't even know how to address some of the ignorant sitting here sometimes. You have to save sell out for when you real. Like, you know, like when they did sell out Marcus Garvey or, you know, we know some of our leaders, they must sell out. Save it for that. But when you go say Grammys sell out because they give the award to Soja, let us look at this. We produce some music in this small island. As a matter of fact, we produce several genres of music in this island. I'll name some of them for you so you can remember. I'll start early with Mento. We could have started before that with the Pokomania music, right? Naya Bingi drumming. Skia. Dub. Reggae. Dancehall. And we influence Afrobeats, Hip Hop and Soca right that is tremendous for one small country to do with a form of art which is music so this form of art goes beyond your ears it goes to your mind it makes your body move it has power which is supernatural just like all the powers that exist in the earth that is music so if we produce such strong different ideas of how music should sound to the world and we share it with them they buy it from us they attend our shows they support the genre the biggest festivals the reggae festivals are outside of jamaica the artists all take the pleasure or take pleasure in going outside of jamaica because they earn more why now then you want to call it sellout when some foreigners win the grammys for one time in like 20 odd years you know so no, no wicked bad the people they must stop it move on to something else i make we talk sense and show too much fool fool people and then just a fall on a comment and the artists them stop make the fans them gassing up 
Stop making the fans them gassing up. Look what happened with Cardi B. She have how much million fans. And them gas she up with fear foolishness all the while. And then them turn around and cuss her. So she come off her Twitter and she come off her Instagram. She must stay off. She must stay off. Because them contribute to a lot of the foolishness. You understand? That is a fact. So your yeah, people are like foolish and so people are chatting just like I'm just like oh my god when is this gonna end? Ugh. Anyway, I hope it ends soon. And trust me, the, the artists them we don't have to just know say some music or we not own the music. You can't bash your next set of people for love your, your music where you see them wanna promote to them. Wanna promote on the internet and overseas for wanna do music video for wanna do interview for if you know if you know on go want the people in my Jamaica if you know about it. First of all, the majority of Jamaican people now buy an album. Second of all, like sixty percent of Jamaican people them probably only are gonna listen to some gospel. Cause them say them are Christian. Not for them them hide and listen like a dance all yes, but another the main thing. Them like them like a berry sand thing, them listening to the same way and listen to them lovers rock. So now I feel like think before no talk and stop spread this foolishness. Artists them need to realize that uno influence yeah. people. So try if you say some more sensible things. Alright, before you jump and something, just check it out now. Check it out, make we do that. And if you don't make a mistake, come back and tell the people them say God no. You know say me see the site, yeah. But them not sight nothing man. <laughs> them now will no meds. <laughs> <laughs> them just come and talk and talk. Jadu was there. I will be there now. Big up all of the people. Them no me go running on my belly like a evening workout or go on there now. Yeah. I like work out by myself in a private. You know, gym people them get me shy. <laughs> they don't like to see me. They say my mom got me not to come at the gym. <laughs> oh God. I look past them and I'm coming them. Alright, anyway, big up on ourselves. So, make we learn, we listen them. What are our lessons from this Soldier Grammy saga? We must buy music and support the artists. The artists then must mobilize them team to get representation on the Grammys board. Um, and also to get their albums promoted, marketed, and sold. And they need to sell themselves, brand themselves properly. and market themselves you know so yeah all the best and big up all the nominees only one person can win so nobody enough it vex just let it go move on next album next year and one thing me notice with jamaican artists them they were long before them put out an album because if you think about it spice spice just put out her album and it named 10 and she debut more than 10 years Artists must put out album from early start from early so you build your catalog so by the time you do four five six album you're perfect, you add more. You have more chances to do things like winning the Grammys and being recognized for putting in a body of work. Same thing with Bugle. I love Bugle's album, but Bugle, they're about too long to only put out well, one, two, three albums. Bugle should have like 10 albums already. To me, Bugle is so like oh, underrated. He's one of them. You know, Sasko. All these people need album, Pantapa album, Dexter Dabs. All of them. So that they, they build them catalog, you know? And they, they, they need to also do the albums in time to meet the submission date for the Grammys. That's a lot of things to why some of the albums that we love don't get no Grammy because the producers them and the artists them not work together to submit the thing on time. So then they get rejected by the Academy. Anyway, people, I pay foolish system attack. My gone, big up on yourself. <laughs>